Hello, this is Dampro. Welcome back to my vehicle rigging tutorial series. We should be in part 5 now. Now we just need to finish off our um, pistons here, our pistons and our springs. So let's get in here and start adding the bones uh, uh, needed for that. So I'm going to need two bones for our pistons. Uh, actually a little bit more than that, but we'll start with these first two here. I'm going to select this uh, point right here so I can snap my cursor um, cursor to selected into the center point on this um, lower piston arm here. Then I'm going to go back to my armature, shift A, let's add a bone. This will be mch.piston.001. I want to parent that piston to our upper uh, swing arm bone here, the mch ground ik.001, control P, keep offset. So when I move this up and down, that point will always stay relative to that. Next up, I want to um, select this upper piston here, tab into edit mode, and in wireframe, I want this central point right here. So I'm going to select both of those loops, shift S, cursor to selected. I can go back to my armature again, and I'm just going to duplicate my piston.001, shift D, and then I'm going to do shift S, selection uh, to cursor, to pop the um, head of that bone to that position. Now I can, uh, with the cursor already there, I can select piston.001, shift S, selection to cursor, and now I can select this lower point, shift S, um, cursor to selected, and then shift S, selection to cursor. So now I have two bones that are pointing at each other. This upper one, the piston.002, that needs to be parented to our body bone, so it needs to stay relative to this upper shock mount here. And now I can uh, align these axes here. I think they're a little bit wonky, so I'm just going to straighten these out so the x-axis is straight with the world. And this one, let me see if I roll that. I can just point this the same direction, I guess. If it'll allow me to. And uh, this is actually not really necessary, but uh, I always feel better about it if they're aligned uh, a little bit better. I'm going to select both of these bones. With the proper parenting, I can scale them down. They don't need to be, be so large. I like to snap them uh, to their endpoints, though, so I know that they're pointing exactly at each other. Next up, I'm going to need a target for each one of these bones. So I'm going to select them both because they're already set up with their parenting. Shift D. I'm going to scale these down. These will be our new targets. This upper one here will be piston target.001. So it's going to be the target for this lower piston here, the piston.001, and we just do control C to copy this and then control V to paste it on this lower one. So now I have the piston target down here for our upper piston.002. So I'm just going to quickly do this with a um, damp track constraint. Now if I select the target for uh, piston.001, then shift select the piston.001, shift control C, I can add a damp track uh, constraint to that, and that is going to point the y-axis, because that is the default axis, so it will be on that constraint, at the um, head of our uh, piston target. Now I just need to repeat this process. I need to select our piston target.002, shift select piston.002, which is going to get the constraint, shift control C, add damp track, and again it's configured correctly, so now when I move this up and down, those two bones will actually point exactly at each other and we move our body bone here so now we can just parent make sure everything's clear and then we can parent our uh, piston mesh to piston.001 the lower piece and then the upper piece to.002 and we have a working piston so pretty simple for that now for the spring I've actually went ahead and uh, in the original model it had a uh, mesh object and I've actually replaced it with a bezier curve. So since I already have a tutorial on how to create a spring um, from a bezier curve, I won't uh, rehash that here, uh, but you can check that out if you look through my um, other um, tutorials on my channel, you can find that. So the reason I've done this is I've actually found uh, that uh, bezier curve is actually a better way uh, using a bezier curve for a spring. So, but it is a little bit odd because whenever you um, 
uh, use a Bezier curve, there is um, some weirdness to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to select all of my um, spring bones here, and there are Bezier curves, and then shift select our body, control P, I'm going to parent them to that bone. But the way I'm going to um, have this uh, stretch is I'm going to actually use a hook modifier on there to hook these vertices to another bone. So first we need a stretching bone. Now I want a bone that's going to stretch from this upper shock mount here so I'm going to select this loop shift S cursor to selected and I'm going to add that bone there. Shift A this will be MCH dot spring dot zero zero one and then I need a target bone here and the target needs to be this flat surface on this lower piece here so I'm going to select this lower piece shift S cursor to selected so that face then I can add my um, select my armature shift A add that target I can resize this drag this down on the Z axis here doesn't need to be quite so large let's rename this to MCH spring target not zero zero one. I want to actually parent our spring target to this um, piston bone here so it's always going to stretch in between this surface and it's going to that surface will always uh, move that center point will always move with our piston lower piston or piston dot zero zero one rather control P keep offset so now if I move that you can see that that parenting relationship will keep that target at that point and since I have my cursor there, I can now snap my um, spring bone, uh, the tail end of that down there, shift S, cursor, or selection to cursor. And I believe this is going to be uh, a little bit wonky here for our roll value, so let me just straighten out that X so it's even. And now I can add a stretch to constraint, so this bone will stretch from this base down to um, wherever this piston base is. So you select our uh, spring target dot zero zero one shift select spring dot zero zero one shift control C. We will add a stretch to target, and now we just need to um, use our hook modifier on our springs to um, hook that to this bone. So you'll notice that I I parented these to the body bone because I wanted our springs to move with our body bone. But the way I'm going to make them stretch, uh, like I mentioned before, is going to be with a um, uh, hook modifier. So in order to use a hook modifier to a bone when you want to hook a vertices of a um, of a curve object to a bone you want to pre-select the bone you're going to hook to that will be our MCH spring.001 then shift select the Bezier curve and then tab into edit mode make sure that all of the vertices you want to hook to that object or that bone are selected and then you can do control H hook to selected object bone and that will add a hook modifier to that um, Bezier curve and you can see it over here and it is targeting our MCH spring.001 and now we have a stretching spring now there's one thing this is, doesn't look very good at the moment and the reason for that is um, for on this spring um, stretch to constraint if we undo uh, it's got volume preservation X and Z for um, by default if you change this to none you won't get that um, odd stretching so I find that this is the preferred way to create a nicely stretching um, spring bone you won't get any of the volume loss in here because a spring doesn't have volume loss it's going to be a hard metal uh, object and uh, there shouldn't be any squishing in there or uh, volume loss so that will uh, take care of that so that is my preferred method for doing springs so with that finally done we now have a front full um, section here where our uh, we have our ground detect we can move our body let me grab our root here and see if everything goes with now something I didn't do I'll notice that this bone did not go with it I did not parent our spring bone to our body bone so I need to do that go back to edit mode MCH spring.001 to our body control P keep offset it's always good to double check to make sure everything is going with your rig so now we have a front full section here looks like all of our meshes are properly parented and we can go through and make sure always double check to make sure your um, naming and parenting is all done uh, because up next we're going to be um, doing our duplication we want to make sure that everything is working properly so that is what we'll do in the next tutorial we'll actually uh, duplicate all of this 
work to the back end and then we will symmetrize it to the other side so we're going to actually uh, duplicate all of this hard work very quickly so uh, we've done the hard part and up next we will do the fun part which is make everything finally move uh, correctly so until then good luck